Welcome to the testing world. Agenda of this session is to create data driven test case using Apache POI. And we are going to read data from input file by using Groovy script and we are going to pass this data to our test steps and we are going to execute steps by using Groovy script. So I'm here on my SOAP UI. Here I have a project inside the project. I have a test suite inside the test suite. We have a test case adding a SOAP test request get country by code and I want to hit service get country by country code. So here my first step is ready inside the test case. Just to check my service is running or not, I'm giving the country code in and running it. And here we see we are getting data from the server means my service is running perfectly. I'm creating one more step. Get currency by country name and here we have one more service get currency by country so now I have two steps one get country by code and other is get currency by country name I want to execute these two steps with multiple data we are going to receive data from external excel file so first i'm preparing test data so i'm on the excel sheet and here i'm giving country code first in then us then cn and here i'm giving country name is india united states and canada so now I have prepared a sheet with three test data because I need country code as a test data and country name as a test data. So I'm using country code and country name in Excel sheet. I'm going to use this data in SOAP UI as my test data. I'm saving this in my and inside the G SOAP. RES and here in this folder I am saving test data. My file is saved successfully. Moving to my SOAP UI. So here I am adding a Groovy script test step. I am taking this test step as a first step in the test case because this test step will read data. And on the behalf of that, we are going to execute the rest of the steps. So for reading the data, first we need to create object of file input stream. So I'm creating the object of a class file input stream. So new file input stream. And here I'm passing path of my input file. So now to read data from Excel, first we need to create object of workbook. So I'm creating object WB new XSSF workbook, passing the object of file from where we want to read data. So now moving to worksheet, so def WS wb workbook dot get sheet which sheet you want to work on so i want to work on sheet one now i'll have to check how many test data we have to check how many test data we have in excel sheet we can create a variable which is r and i'm reading number of rows inside the sheet so here get physical number of rows 
So this method is going to return number of rows we have inside the worksheet. I'm running a loop from 0 to the less than r. If we have 5 rows means my indexing will be 0 to 4. So I'm starting with the 0 until the value is less than r means if the r is 5 then 0 to 4 and i plus plus here inside the loop I'm creating the object of row. So def row worksheet dot get row. I want to work on the row which is i. So now we have the object of row. Now we want to check how many cells or we can say how many columns are there. So we can create a variable which is c row dot get physical number of cells. It's going to return number of columns inside this row. Now I'm running loop for cells. So for def j is equal to 0, j is less than c, j plus plus. Again, we are starting loop with 0 and running till 0 to c minus 1 means if I have 3 columns, so loop will run from 0 to 2 because indexing always start from the 0. So now I'm creating cell object. So def cell row dot get cell. Which cell you want to work on? So I want to work on J. As of now, I'm just printing all the data which we are reading in log area. So log dot info cell dot get string cell value. Before running this, I have imported this package because we are using Apache POI to read data from the Excel sheet. So we have to define where all these classes are exist. So here the path is org.apache.poixsf.usermodel.star. Star Star means I'm going to use all the classes inside this user model package. Now I'm running it and here we see we are getting data from all rows. Now first task is done. We are reading data from the Excel sheet successfully.